Hey yo, what is going on my lads and ladettes? It is time for another session of Gaming with Joe 2.0. Today we are diving into the game commonly known as War Thunder. That is right, ladies and gentlemen, we are playing a wartime classic. Free to play, of course, so you can... Download this at your discretion. I have, I am playing on the side of the USSR, as you can see right here. So, yep. And I just decided that since we are amid the COVID-19 outbreak, that I would just sit back, record some videos, and overall just take a take this two-week vacation to kind of relax. I would also like to announce that if you have not seen my recent unboxing video, I have recently acquired my new knife. Um, very nice knife. S Smith & Wesson Extreme Ops, as you can see right, right there. <coughs> a very nice, very sharp. I've already cut myself with it a few times because I'm a clumsy idiot. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. And, um, in this game, I've already been playing for a good long while. As you can see, I'm level 6 on my profile. And I have, this is my most recent acquired, um, tank. It is, it is a derp gun. As you can see by the <laughs> ridiculously short barrel, <laughs> it's a bit of a derp gun, yeah. It's pretty pretty weak, too. If we go into the modifications, you'll see I've got basically nothing. It's very weak. But... I do have some things researched already, so it's not all bad. If you're wondering, this is the basic starter tank that comes with the Soviet Union. And my current researcher, my current tank that I'm researching is a tier 2 tank, medium battle tank, battle rating 3.3. It is going to be soon replacing my T-26. This is a T-34 I'm researching. So, without further, for further ado, let's get right into it, ladies and gents. My goal for, the, my goal for this COVID-19 outbreak is to have that new tank researched by the end of this week. Might be a little ambitious since my game crashed 17 times before finally allowing me to load this far, not even join a freaking game, just load the program itself. Maybe that's a little ambitious. Oh my goodness. Seriously? A factory? Stalingrad. Uh, right. Well... Oh well, I guess we're playing in Stalingrad. Three. Oh frick. Three respawns for this mission, as you can see right there. That's a uh, standard at this point. Every mission has three respawns, and that's it. That's it. See three battle points. I think I'm gonna go for C. I'm gonna spawn right there. If I can, I'm going to spawn closer to C than that. But if not, then I'll go around the coastline and hit up this point, take it, hopefully, and then defend it from enemies which will be coming through here or potentially up this way 
so there should be two main points of attack that I will be defending from. Oh boy. Oh boy. Here it goes. We are lagging, ladies and gentlemen. I find it hilarious how people constantly claim lags to the point that nobody believes you when you're claiming lag because everybody always claims lag. And it's actually lag. Like, seriously, my computer is pretty much a potato when it comes to running these kinds of games. Especially, even if, even when they're at low resolution, I have this at the minimum graphics setting. Like, legit. And it's just like, eh, screw you. You've, you've got a potato, we're just gonna run that potato to the, till it, till its core is melting. But, not much I can do now, can I? Anyways, I'm just going to record this one battle, uh, and then that'll be good for today. I'll call it, I'll, I won't call it quits, I'll just not record the rest, unless something big happens like I get that new tank, then I'll cut the recording on. Yeah, earlier today I was being a dumb frick, and I uh, cut myself in the pinky real good, because I was... Oh, damn it. Freeze detected. Yep. And this is my background. I actually have my background on a scrolling background, so it shifts between this and a couple other pictures. Uh, I guess I'm not going to get a gaming video today. Oh well. Thanks for tuning in, ladies and gents. Um, see y'all next time.